we've got the new Concept Bulldozer, designed by Kim Neen. It's a titanium frame lock front flipper with a 20 CV blade. And as always, if you're interested in purchasing the Bulldozer, or maybe there's something else in your wish list, be sure to check out my buddies over at WhiteMountainKnives.com and use my promo code SHARPAF, one word, to get 10% off. They also have free shipping on all US orders. So far, there's just one version of this with a gray titanium handle, blue accent hardware. Full retail price is $310, but most sites are selling it for $217. So with my promo code, you'd be around $200-ish bucks. I'm going to start out with my likes and dislikes, and later on I'll get into the full specs. The bulldozer has a very sleek design, but it's kind of deceiving. With the slender handle and sleek look, you don't realize how big it is until you whip it out. But it has a very nice profile that's easy on the eyes with these straight parallel lines and a very interesting design. The blue titanium backspacer and screws look great with the gray handle. And it has a great action. Good deployment and an absolutely incredible drop. The drop takes no effort at all. This is definitely in the category of fall shetty, no shake required. It has a great multi-purpose blade shape. There's a lot of belly to work with for slicing, but there's also kind of a cleaver-esque vibe to it, uh, but not quite as blocky. This would be great for kitchen use, outdoor use, or even utility cuts with that nice pointy tip. The blade steel is CPM 20 CV, which is a premium steel. And take a look at that blade stock. It's a very thick, sturdy blade. Very nice chunk of steel. And there's minimal markings on the blade. Besides the concept logo, the rest are tucked away nicely. The handle's done well. It's neutral and it feels good in hand with no noticeable hot spots. And it's not just a plain slab of titanium. We do have some contouring, sort of. They are flat sides, but at least it has some shape or dimension to it. And internally, there was a good amount of milling done to help out with the weight. I mean, really, for a titanium knife and such a big blade, the weight on this thing isn't too bad. And there's also a milled titanium pocket clip. So Concept did some things on the bulldozer that some other manufacturers sometimes cheap out on in this price range. It's still a simple knife, but there's not too many cut corners. And overall for the price, we have great materials and a lot of bang for your buck or cut for your buck. Okay, so dislikes. My biggest issue is not so much a problem with the knife, but more of just a reminder to be careful especially when closing the knife. This blade drops fast. There's not a tab to catch with your thumb, so if you're going to let it free fall, it's going to get your thumbnail pretty good. It's a big heavy blade that drops very fast, and when you try to get out of the way last minute is normally when you end up cutting yourself. So it's not as fun to fidget with, at least for me, because you have to be a little more responsible and diligent when closing the knife. Keep it horizontal at first, not vertical, pass the detent, and then get out of the way and let it close. I know that's what a lot of you guys do anyways, but for me, I have to be a little more aware of what I'm doing with this one. I'm normally not very careful, as you've probably noticed. For deployment, the front flipper works great, but not everyone likes a front flipper. You can reverse flick it because of how much blade is exposed, which is cool, but a fuller or a thumb hole would have made that even easier. Really, any alternative means of deployment would be nice for those who don't care for front flippers. But I guess I don't know that I really want a fuller because it looks pretty nice as is. You can always hold it with two hands and use your index finger to make it easier if you struggle with dexterity. But really, it's not that bad. So let's get into the full specs. The bulldozer was designed by Kim Ning who was the production manager at Kaiser Cutlery for quite
quite a few years until he left and started Concept Knives. So you'll notice a lot of similarities in designs, materials, and build quality to Kaiser Knives. And rather than his name or logo being stamped on the blade, it's engraved under the handle. I do want to know why so many people have left Kaiser recently. Let me know in the comments if you know. There's been a few higher ups recently that I know of. I don't know if it's just because they're seeing dollar signs and know they can make more money doing it on their own and they have the experience to do it. Or if something's going on over there at Kaiser. They still keep pumping out great knives though. The blade length is 3.6 inches or 9 centimeters. The handle length is 4.6 inches or 11.7 centimeters. For an overall length of 8.2 inches or 21 centimeters. The blade thickness is 0.14 inches or 3.6 millimeters. And it weighs 4.45 ounces or 126 grams. The blade still is CPM 20 CV with a flat grind. It deploys with a front flipper and it's a frame lock with a replaceable lock bar insert. The lockup is good about 30% and the centering is good. Dead center. Good detent and great closing, great action overall. It looks and feels like it might have bigger bearings than your average pocket knife or multi row bearings, but I haven't taken it apart yet. There's a titanium backspacer, lanyard hole, and a milled titanium pocket clip that is tip up, right or left side. Here's what it looks like in your pocket. And for hardware, T8 pivot screw and T6 body screw and T6 clip screw. And it was plenty sharp right out of the box. Overall, the Concept Bulldozer is an awesome knife. It's a sleek yet rugged titanium frame lock with a good fall shutty action and great materials. It'd be a great choice as long as you are okay with a front flipper. Let me know what you guys think about the Concept Bulldozer in the comments. Stay tuned for some size comparisons and don't forget to like and subscribe. That's it for me guys, thanks for watching.